So here's the thing, the iPad are super powerful, they're portable and they do a ton of things. And yet people buy them, get hyped in a couple of months and then later it collects dust. Hi, it's Orange Tech here. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the iPad, some accessories and the apps I use to make this iPad more worth it. So if you like this type of video, just hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't. So without further ado, Let's get this video started. First of all, I have the iPad Pro M2 chip, the fourth gen, and shout out to all of you guys out there rocking the M2. So before we go into further details in this video, I did like to show you guys a video of MKBHD explaining the Pro chip. Apple Silicon is a little confusing, so here's your cheat sheet. So there have been four generations of chips so far, and there are multiple different performance tiers. So the base chip, M4, is the most recent one. That's in things like the iPad, the MacBook Air, the Mac Mini, and the iMac. Then you move up to the Pro tier, which is a physically larger chip. So there are more CPU and GPU cores, more memory bandwidth. The rule is if you don't know why you need it, you probably don't need it. But this is in things like Mac Mini and MacBook Pro. Then you move up to the max. Well, that was a super good video. Now, the question is, is the M4 actually worth it on the iPad? Because I tried the Geekbench 6 and I was super impressed of how the M2 basically runs things and how it stands against higher models like the M3 and the M4, for example. And we have to understand that these chips on the iPad are basically what they use on the MacBook as well. So they are powerful and snappy enough. Now, what are the differences between the iPad M4 and the iPad M2? The iPad M4, we all know it has a sleeker design. It has a new display and also a new chip, while the iPad M2 is just way cheaper. Now, if you're gonna spend $2,000 on getting the iPad M4, a Magic Keyboard, and a Apple Pencil, you might as well do what we call a combo, where you buy the iPad M2 and the new MacBook Air M4, which is basically $999, and this one you probably get it for $500. And you could basically have two different devices that gives you maximum power. But less of that, let's dive into the places I feel that the iPad excels more than any other devices out there. Now, the biggest reason I like carrying this iPad everywhere is the fact that this thing is super portable, it's versatile, and I could just easily fit in my bag, whether I'm going to the gym, for example, or doing some shop list, or maybe just hanging out with friends at a cafe. And the best thing is that I can always hotspot this with my phone. It's just easy and nice to use. I can also bring a laptop, but I just feel that the iPad is super instant. There's no friction, there's no boot up. It's just tap and go. Now, another thing I really like with all iPads in general is the touch screen. I mean, having a touch screen is just super nice. And if you add a Apple Pencil on top of that, you get more precise flow. You can take notes, you can create art, you can just make things work more precisely. Now, just having the touch screen and the Apple Pencil is just super great. Another thing I really like with the iPad is the fact that it helps me focus on one app. Yeah, my laptop, I do have multiple fleeks on and that causes distraction. I do have like 3000 fleeks, but the iPad solely helps you focus on one thing. Now, let me explain. With the iPad, you get stuck in one app to be able to create the things you actually want to create, whether you're drawing, creating notes, you just get forced to stay to one app. Now you could split screen, you could do some multitasking here and there, but at the end of the day, it solely helps you to focus on the things you're creating. And if you do want a deeper dive into focus mode, there's actually a focus option that you could create and customize to your own will. And that is just more fun in case you just want to dive deeper into your workflow. Now for me, this is where the iPad starts to feel like a laptop, for example, whether you have a magic keyboard or a normal keyboard, just connecting them just makes everything super nice. Now, if you press command and space, you could search for anything on the iPad, whether it's apps or files, it's just a super great way and a fast way to navigate through the iPad. Whether I'm replying mails or writing script, I just like the way this setup is so close to a laptop. And then you get the center stage camera. I mean, this literally follows you everywhere you go. If you're on a Zoom call or FaceTime with your friend, I just enjoy the way it follows me. Like the camera has a gyroscope inside. 
it puts me in center of the frame and it's just wonderful to actually use this camera like that. Okay, so let's talk about the apps that make my iPad a daily essential. I'm going to briefly speak on these, but I will make a full detailed video of how I use the app for productivity. So let's start with the first app called Notion. For me, Notion is where I create most of the things like my YouTube script, my productivity system, and also my gym routines. So it kind of syncs to my calendar as well. So I just like the way it syncs to that so I could basically see what I do. Now, the other app I use is called Space Desk. If you have a window PC, this app lets you use the iPad as an external monitor. This app is super handy. Like for instance, if you don't want to work on your workspace right here, you could always connect it and go to another room and continue your video creation. And it's super nice because you do have a touch screen on your iPad to create those videos that you want but it might take a few tries to understand the app. And if you guys have any other apps like these out there, just feel free to let me know. But Space Desk is another app I mostly use. And another app I use is called Perplexity. I feel like Perplexity is more like ChatGPT, but it's built more for research. You can ask it things like tech specs, financial insights, or deeper dive questions about a company, for instance. I really like the way it searches the web and finds the relevant info to give you the best of all of them. So. Perplexity is one app I normally use. Now, Figma is another app I use. So if you're into UI and UX design, then Figma is a good thing to actually have. Look, I am currently creating a website and also a app. So I just enjoy having Figma on a daily basis. I could collaborate with other people in real time and it feels kind of natural on the trackpad as well. So Figma is another app I use. Now, if you're a huge gamer at heart, then the Xbox Cloud Gaming is just a game changer. I use this on my iPad whether I'm playing Assassin's Creed or FIFA. I could just connect a controller and play game from anywhere. But the only issue is that you do need a good Wi-Fi to stay connected and to have the best game quality ever. So having a good connection is just a way to go. But the Xbox Cloud Gaming is super nice. And finally, the app I mostly use on a daily basis is ChatGPT. I use this for video ideas to create scripts or solve a problem that I need to solve. I just use ChatGPT and I just feel like ChatGPT is super fluent with that. And at this point now, you could basically just create commercial like image from ChatGPT 4.0, which is just super great. But I use it for simple tasks and brainstorming. So. ChatGPT is normally what I use on a daily basis. At the end of the day, the iPad is only as good as you make it. It doesn't really matter if you use it for productivity, for learning new skills, or for entertainment. I mean, I've actually seen people replace their laptop worth $3,000 just to get the iPad because of how versatile it is. So let me know what you use your iPad for in the comments down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Now, for me, Notion is like everything. It's where I use my brain to create my script. Might help me in any way. Now, this is the script on the apps that I normally use on a daily basis. So still- Hell no.